Hello everybody, Canada Graphs here with a set report for The Flash. Season 7, Episode 11, this is part 2. There is a part 1 video, I will link that in the description below. Um, these are from a few weeks ago. Uh, this first set is... Um, Uh, this is uh, information I found after I did my original videos, so I'm just squeezing it in here. This is obviously Grant Gustin as a Flash. We now know that Ennis Esmer is playing Psyche. Uh, we have Christian Magby. He is the one in the, the green and white jacket. We have Sarah Garcia. She is the young woman there. And then, of course, we have Michelle Harrison who plays uh, Barry's mom, Nora, on the show, and also is the Speed Force. That is the cast for these scenes. And um, so, in, in this scene here, we, we do see uh, this group. They're just uh, shooting a scene where you see them all standing together in a line. And there'll be another take a little later where you'll see... Uh, Michelle Harrison's character. Actually, I think you can just kind of see her coat flapping on each side of that tree there. There she is. Um, so yeah, she's facing the group and um, I don't know why. Um, <laughs> obviously, uh, there's a lot still not known about what's going on in this scene and might not find that out for a few episodes, but um, you know, you can see them filming at um, that they start the scenes standing behind the group and then they move in on a close-up of Michelle during the scene. Uh, during during the breaks in between, you'll see the uh, cast at times, specifically Grant and the new guy in the, the football jacket. They, they seem to be playing around a lot. Um, they, they seem to be having a bit of fun. But the whole cast as a general, or just, they, they seem very sociable. Very, very... Uh, like they, they'd been working together for years. Like they, it was a pretty pretty good to see because not, oh, not always do new um, guest stars fit with uh, cast so well, you know. This one, it, they really seem to be getting along well. Um, here's more of that scene. You'll see uh, Michelle is saying something to them. And then she does this like thing and they all react like they're getting their butts kicked and um, you know it, it's funny when you see it when um, there's not the action part of it added to it because they have to mimic it so that the everybody knows where they are on the queue of like where it is in the scene so it it's a it's a interesting th thing to see from a filming aspect like even when you're not on camera you sort of have to act out what you're seeing or what the scene is supposed to be um so if you're standing behind the camera you still have to like act out like if you're getting punched or thrown back just because the person in front of the camera needs that um visual aspect to know where the scene might be and it's uh it's an interesting thing to see in person so here's Grant and uh, that um, new guy. They're doing a scene and um, eventually here, uh, we'll see them. No, actually, sorry, this is, <laughs> I forgot. This is the part where I zoomed out. So that's how far away I was standing. And this is me zooming back in. <laughs> sorry, uh, I got my scenes mixed up there and uh, kind of forgot which part I was looking at. Um, so there, yeah, he, he does a running scene and he, he really didn't run much as you can see, but they'll fix that after the fact. They'll make it look like he ran really hard and really fast somewhere. And uh, that was the end of that take. You could just see the, uh, there's a picture of the, of all these new guys all running together, running off. Um, yeah, I, I don't know much about them yet, but we will learn more, I'm sure. I have been told that the one guy, the one uh, that's still standing there, he is supposed to be Psyche, but I don't know for certain. Um, we will find out soon enough, I'm sure. Probably by the time I've even put this video up. I mean, I think episode four might have aired by then. Uh, so uh, you, might, you might know. <laughs> um, here is... I think this is the stunt team now. So the first night, they did some stunt work with uh, 
uh, Barry, uh, the football jacket kid, and the one that is playing either Nora or the Speed Force. Uh, they had the stunt team out for that night, um, and they did a uh, one particular stunt that you'll see in a couple of minutes here. Um, you can see uh, on like the back of the football jacket kid, he's got a he's got a uh, a cord sticking out of his back, and you can even see it on the Michelle Harrison stunt double. Same thing. Um, Obviously, this is so that when the scene happens, they can get pulled back hard enough to do what they're what's needed for the scene. You can see behind uh, the football guy and behind uh, Barry's double, uh, Cody Loudon. He they they have mats behind them, so they they have a place to land. And you can see a mat on the ground for uh, Michelle Harrison's double, so that they, they they will practice. A lot you can see Cody there practicing exactly what angle he, he needs to go because you, you need to make sure you have it right because once that cord cord pulls you you kind of don't have a lot of options on, on uh, going okay hold on a second like you're already in the air by the time you decide that you got it wrong so you practice quite a few times even for the smallest little things you know um, something is Simple as getting thrown backwards onto a, a mat seems really uh, simple in theory but uh, you need to you need to make sure you have that angle right, or else you could hurt yourself, or you could even mess up the scene. You know, I mean, if it doesn't look the way it needs to be done, then they have to do it again, and everybody has to reattach all that wiring and get back in position, and that's a bit of a process if you didn't have your mark set properly. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of prep just getting ready to make sure you have the angle you need to go at properly. And uh, you, you see that here, them uh, doing all of this waiting around. Well, everyone makes sure they know exactly how they're going to fly. And you're going to see them fly here in a minute. And uh, that will be, um, you know, probably like two hours of prep for this simple, like, three-second stunt. And uh, that, that's uh, the film business for you, you know. There's a lot of work that goes into some of these scenes. And uh, especially when it comes to the stunt work, the stunt work needs a lot of uh, a lot of setting up for certain things. Uh, you can see some garbage flying around there. That was uh, part of the scene. And there they go. You see, see, like it, it's important that you need to know once that cord pulls, you are going to uh, know exactly where you're going. So that's why you practice making sure your body has got the right angle. Um, Here's one more take of it. This is the last take that they did that I was there for. So um, this is the only two takes I got of them doing that scene. And uh, here they go again. And yeah, that was uh, the flash. Okay, so now some set photos from uh, these sets. First up is those uh, stunt uh, people you saw. Here's some of the uh, stills I took of them. You can see Grant's double Cody there. He's got a... Uh, rope out the or uh, wire out the back of them. You can see all three of them there with their wires. They're getting ready. The, this is the actual actors now. That's Ennis Esmer and Sarah Garcia. Um, the, and there's uh, Christian Magby, who you just got introduced to in episode uh, what was it, six or seven that just went by recently. Uh, and there's Ennis and um, Christian. You can see Sarah too. She was hiding behind the post there. You could just see part of her body in front of it. Uh, this is a scene where he's facing the um, the other forces. Uh, later, you'll see him lining up with them, but at some points he was facing them. There he is lining up with them, standing uh, facing uh, the speed force or Nora, however you want to uh, reference her as. Um, there was a few different angles. You sometimes it's you grant facing the other forces, then t other times standing with the other forces to face against uh, Nora. There he is standing against a green screen, so it was so dark I had to lighten it a bit. This is him uh, doing the scene with Christian and Sarah, who's just off camera. There she is. Um, you can see he's just wearing a toque in the scene, so he's not his. He won't be on camera in the scene, but he's needed there probably just to say some lines. And, uh, you know, 
he needs to be close enough that he can say his line so that they can uh, react off what he's saying. <clears throat> you can see he's just got like big gloves on even. He's not even wearing his like speedster outfit gloves. <laughs> Uh, there he is doing a scene with Sarah, and you can see Michelle facing him. Michelle is holding her um, thing in her hand for for uh, protection thing. Uh, there's Ennis after a scene waiting to do the next take, looking at his phone. And I shot this shot. Last shot I have is um, you can see Porter Plaza they used for King Shark back in the day when he first in was introduced. And then you have Quick Start Enterprises, which is a little nod to a company that um, Jesse Quick. Uh, runs in the comics so take of that what you will um, I didn't expect that and I don't know if that's supposed to reference her coming back in some form but a little something to notice there and that is it for this set report of The Flash season 7 episode 11 Hopefully I will have some more soon I have many more in my uh, on my channel so check in there I have a full flash uh, catalog there. So check them out. Thanks for coming by. Bye.